All right, got a really special one today. I've got, this is a wazoo colored pen blank. So we're going for uh, the wazoo theme. But if you look real closely, you can kind of see little flecks of things in there. So what this is, is this is cremated dog ash of a customer's pooch that passed away. And they asked if I could turn them a pen. Now this is about the fifth pen that I've made with cremated dog ash and I told them absolutely and they want all of the safe shavings because it's their dog and they want all of those back with them because it's going to contain little bits of their dog so they want all that back so I've got a brand new clean bench afterward I'm going to put a filter over top of my vacuum hose and I'm going to vacuum up all the shavings and give all those back to them and we're going to turn a bolt action pen with this one today now, whenever you're working with dog ash, there's always bits of bone in there, so I always recommend wearing some sort of a respirator or filter device. Here we go. Polished up, clean up all of the dust and get it collected into this box that I have going over here that I was collecting the ribbons off that were landing on my arms. So I got all that in the box. I'm going to clean this up, get it all into the box. I'm going to polish it and we'll get it assembled. I got this dog ash blank all polished up. You can see we've got a really nice maroon color on there, nice pearlescent to it, and you can even see bunch of the dog ash turned out pretty good we're gonna go ahead and get this put together I think I'm gonna have this to the back so I'm gonna put a bushing in the back section of this blank so I can press in the front section and not damage the CA finish that we've got on here the assembly tools are have a little bit of a cup dome to them sometimes when you press in on that edge you can kind of delaminate the CA glue uh, from the actual blank itself not so often but I've had it happen twice which is entirely too many times for me to have something ruined in the final hour of the process. So you just put a bushing on there, that holds it nicely in place, gives it a full contact surface there at the end. That part's in. And the reason why I wanted this to the back, so at the front here we have this nice curve uh, where the two blanks meet up. And I wanted that to be visible. And I want the clip to go right through that opening. I think that'll be a cool effect. We're going to put that clip right there. What's left to do now, take our ink and our spring, drop it down in there, thread on our bullet tip, and check for function. Ooh, that looks good. Looks real good. All right, that's a real nice pen. Get that off to my customer. 